It's 5 a.m. Gran died in the night. Mum got the call a few hours ago. She's still crying. I just feel... to go back to sleep but as soon as I close my eyes the thoughts keep circling back Drove to the hospital first thing in the morning. No one said much. It seemed to take forever. I've never seen a dead body before. It might be scary. But it's just grand. Right? Maybe I should have stayed at home. When we finally arrived, I wasn't so sure about being there at all. We went up the stairs to room 305. Grand's room. Mum gently put her hand on my back and asked me if I wanted to wait outside. I said, Yes. Sitting in the waiting room, 
just rows of plastic benches in a sea of blue linoleum. And it smells like Ben's bottom cream. A little doodling should distract me from this dreary place. That's calling me. Dad had his arm around Mum as they came out of Grand's room. I have never seen her like this. Mums aren't supposed to cry. They're strong. They're meant to know what to do. Always. I guess losing your own mum makes you feel like a kid again. The drive home was a quiet one again. It's silly, but I keep thinking back to Gran's favourite vase. The one Grandad gave her. I was running in the house, even though Gran had told me not to. I still remember the noise of the vase smashing into little pieces. Gran was there in an instant. I waited for her to shout. She didn't. She just looked sad, and somehow, that was worse. Gran wouldn't let me pick up the pieces. She found every single one, and carried them into the kitchen. Later, I sneaked in with a tube of glue in hand. It was a mess. I got glue everywhere. But Gran smiled when she saw the vase. She put it in the cupboard. Later I found it again. When I asked her why she'd binned the vase, she smiled again. Gran always says... We can't hold on to things forever. Let them live in your memories. She said she preferred to keep the vase like she remembered it. Maybe I hurt Gran's heart. Weakened it. That can happen, can't it? Maybe this is all my fault. I shouldn't have run in the house. Now everything is broken. If I'd started my story sooner, Gran could have read it. It might have helped. I could... I could have fixed... I would have fixed her heart. Really? 
I don't even know how to fix my story. It's a mess. I left Grace to sink into cold, dark waters. She's completely alone. She left behind Lump, her only friend. Okay, focus, Izzy. How can I continue the story? How would she feel about this situation? Grace felt... ambivalent. We're getting somewhere. Now, let's see...